Okay my friends, today is unboxing day. A big package, actually not that big, but uh, yeah, a package from France of all places arrived in the mail today and uh, yeah, I've been talking about the Rarity Collection 2 upgrades for our Tillerman's deck and this is it, this is the package. Actually a little small one already arrived. Don't look directly at it, you might go blind. It is Rifesoft. It's going to be a nice upgrade for us. A bit of glare today, but I mean, it's just uh, what you expect with so much bling bling. And uh, yeah, in case uh, you wonder where all the YouTube money goes to, well, uh, yeah, just check the subscribers again. No YouTube money. Um, but yeah, it all goes into, into this. Very sturdily packaged. Very nice job, uh, very well done. Let's try to open it without cutting our hands open or the, damaging the cards. Both seem rather hard to do. Okay, we're getting there, getting there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the better it is uh, yeah, packaged, the safer the cards are. So uh, yeah, not complaining, even though it will take a moment here. But uh, yeah, that's what you love to see, right? If you order cards for hundreds of euros, you want to see some uh, good packaging. Now I hope, uh, yeah, he sent in everything and this is not going to be a very sad uh, video of me sitting here crying because I got scammed. Okay, oh, there's even more glue or oh, whatever. Let's just rip it open. And so these aren't displays or whatever they're called for single cards, but for multiple. And the cards aren't sleeved. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Okay, now finally, after all the unpacking, we have left with two thick uh, plastic displays for cards. Usually I only know the ones uh, that fit like one card or like maybe two, three maximum. Uh, but yeah, the scary part is he has used one big sleeve for all these cards here. Uh, yeah. Good thing I have some uh, some more sleeves here ready and available, because uh, I don't really want to have these like just lying around. Now, questions: Do we start with the left or right one? I have already packed, opened this one. Let's hope it's not the best one, so we can save the best for last. And let's just go in. Let's start like this. So we start with a quarter century heretic seals. And a very nice card, obviously for Dragon Link, right? Let's hope that uh, they get some love with uh, all the bans and uh, hits they got indirectly. Next one, very cursed. Um, right, obviously, hopefully this card gets banned, right? I'm doing my part. Buying the card in uh, highest uh, possible rarity, I think, so uh, that this motherfucker gets banned at some point. But uh, yeah, doing my part. Next, okay, a crystal wing. Very nice. Obviously, uh, not as popular anymore, but uh, well, just like with some other extra tech staples, if the meta shifts and uh, yeah, decks change, you will come back. We'll have to assume. And the next one, obviously this is now very popular. And again, I'm doing my part, buying the card so that it gets banned. Uh, yeah, hand looping for two. Hand looping is it's just not cool, guys. It's uh, rather cringe, I'd say. Then the next one, another Synchro, TG Hyper Librarian. Obviously, um, yeah, for classic Synchro decks, but also for the new Gen X one with uh, the new uh, Link one that is coming out in a couple of weeks, right? Two or three at this point. Um, yeah, very lovely. Drawing a lot of cards. And the next one, obviously this is again for our tier build, right? Gurura, we're not playing Super Poly in the main right now, but uh, yep, maybe we should if we want to go to a big event, then this is the card for us. Next one. Oh, okay. So one of Magician Souls. Um, yeah, this is just here. I had two already, so I just always wanted the playset. Let's just put it to the side. It's not really worth mentioning a lot. 
And oh, now we come into uh, yeah the secret rares. I ordered some secret rares, right? Some uh, some staple cards that I didn't have uh, play sets. I had a play set of Phantasmi, but only in gold rare, and that looks like kinda yuck. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's show it a bit off. The play set secret rare Phantasmi. I don't really like the card right now. People are playing it here and there, but. Uh, Let's just uh, put it here. Actually, let's put the QCRs up here. And we have more space for the cheaper cards. <clears throat> Next one. What? Ultra rare? Did I order ultra rare droll? Not a uh, secret? Uh, well, okay. A playset of droll. I thought I ordered all in secret, but well, seemingly not. Okay, yeah. Skullmeister playset. It's not the best card. It's not even the greatest card, but uh, hey, a chance to like get some cheap uh, staples, right, for your decks, right? Right now, these cards not uh, don't see that much play, but the meta will shift, and then hey, these cards you will be happy that you have them. And oh yeah, DD Crow. I uh, looked through my collection and I only found one, so. Uh, not sure where the others went or if I like ever had more. But uh, yeah, DD Crows. Uh, hard to see the secret there, but uh, yeah. So that's the first uh, half of the package. I have to be careful with my finger. I'm bleeding a bit. Hopefully YouTube is not going to be a bitch about it. Uh, but yeah, obviously here's some like hand trap esque uh, cards, right? Uh, from the staple department. Very lovely. Yeah, next to that, some uh, yeah, good but more fringe uh, QCRs. Let's put them to the side and uh, yeah, actually, let's go to the last part of it. Having only two things to open, it's just uh, sad, and I want to open more. But uh, yeah, this alone was my entire budget for yeah rarity collection. So I was like, okay, do I buy the singles that I want, or do I? buy like three four boxes and in the end i decided for the singles because uh yeah like the the, the chase cards in the set are really great but um yeah the rest i mean who cares about what is it nimble be uh, nimble hamster or some shit like that if you care good for you but not for me anyway we continue with oh yes oh god yes man i love this card the artwork is so fire Again, not the best card right now, but goddamn, man. A playset of QCR's Ultimate Slayer. Very fucking lovely. I'm usually not the biggest fan of buying uh, QCR main deck cards, right? Because it's just more uh, vulnerable to uh, get damaged when uh, like someone tries to shuffle your deck. So, uh, yeah. I buy uh, the high rarity cards for the extra deck only most of the time, but uh, yeah, sometimes we do some uh, ex exemptions or something. Ah, I mean, I have to hold myself back. Look at this gorgeous Pearl of Rhino. Uh, yeah, I bought these Pearl of Rhino back then for a, a lot of money, right? You probably remember release Pearl of Rhino was uh, 80 to 90 per copy. And now I grabbed, I think these were like 20 or so, 20, 15 something. Uh, so yeah, obviously just not one, but a play set of Pearl Rhino. Very nice. And uh, yeah, similar for uh, Rivesoft. Obviously Rivesoft was never as expensive as Pearl Rhino, but uh, yeah, nice rarity upgrades here for our planets uh, in our lovely tier strategy. Now we can actually put the Rivesoft next to them. Uh, yeah, a lot of shiny spell cards, and let's continue with... Okay, we're going to go for some uh, staples, Cosmic Cyclone. I have some, but uh, I have not... Uh, I think I only have one Ultra or something, and the rest is like rares or some shit like that. Let's get some bling bling in, right? Uh, again, this card sees some place in sideboards right now. I'm not telling you anything new. Uh, but uh, yeah, so far uh, so good, so far so good. Oh, emergency teleport. I think this is just a one-off. 
I think it's the same story as with the uh, Magician's Souls. Uh, I had like two Ultras and uh, yeah, I needed the third one. Ooh, enemy controllers. Don't remember buying that one, but that's the joy of opening uh, so many cards. Enemy controller, obviously. Um, yeah, fallen out of favor again. But uh, yeah, I mean, I saw some play in some side decks uh, recently. And uh, yeah, it's a decent card. It's a decent card, right? There are some, uh, some, some moments for it. I think we're going into the uh, the, the, the final bangers and uh, they uh, definitely warrant some space. Let's go. Oh, actually, yeah, this is fine. A QCR Foolish Graveyard, uh, Foolish Barrel. I'm thinking of playing this in tier again. Um, it's obviously not the greatest mill, but a solid hand card, right? It fixes everything. Uh, at worst, it's a mill too, uh, with tier cash. It can be a name, right, uh, for fusion. It uh, can set up your graveyard for light swans, right? If you have Dragonling or something in grave, uh, mm, it's it's worth thinking about. It's worth thinking about. Obviously, also with malicious, right? Sending malicious, it can be like two bodies on board, right? Because malicious sent malicious, malicious. You know how it goes. So uh, yeah, that's something fun. Let's place it up here, maybe. Now, Poli, uh, yeah, I'm uh, not going back on uh, Beast King or something, but uh, yeah. just grabbing a shiny Poli, I think it's, uh, it's fine. Let's place it up here, the shine again, or glare, whatever you call it. And looks so gorgeous, gorgeous. And uh, yeah, this baby, Underworld Goddess. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're not playing it currently, purely, for example, not seeing that much play as is Mathmec with their uh, Ed Ignister, right? Like these tower monsters are not really popular that much right now. Um, but yeah, a great card. I love this card, man. It's just, uh, it's just awesome. I wish I had the extra deck space to uh, play it more often. Okay, three cards missing. The next one is the Boral End, yeah. Drain Link, uh, in case you don't know, it's one of my favorite decks and what's one of my, uh, it was my second deck that I built after like getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm well, not getting back, but uh, like investing into Yu-Gi-Oh, right? As a kid, you don't have money to buy like lots of Yu-Gi-Oh product. You, you just like try to get whatever you can with your like little allowance that you get. Yeah, since I started working, I think my own money, right? Heroes and uh, Dragon Link were my first uh, like decks that I like really built that weren't just hey what did I draw, uh, draw, get from like some random booster packs and like structure decks and some shit yeah so uh, that's why uh, yeah rarity maxing out on this deck is uh, something that I'm looking for or like maxing out to some decent extent but uh, yeah let's move to the side my friends for I don't know which one go comes first, but uh, yeah, these are the like the big money cards of the set, and the first is the alternative artwork QCR IP Mascarena. It's going with the big zoom. Look at this gorgeous card. Absolutely amazing, Konami. If you ban her, you are beyond cringe. Ay ay ay. And uh, yeah, obviously, what is this? Write it in the comments down below. You have three, two, one. It's obviously, uh, get it right. Yeah. Appaloosa, both the goddess. Look at this gorgeous card. Absolutely insane. Yeah, obviously, uh, the alternative artworks. Actually, I think the original artworks are fine for these, but I like these two uh, alternative artworks more. Uh, so yeah, I'm decently happy that I can rarity max them um, because for the other artworks, the QCRs are uh, not the QCRs. The Starlight Rare uh, original Appaloosa and IP are like 900 bucks. Uh, that is more than all these cards uh, combined. So uh, yeah, uh, that's why uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what we got here. The Underworld Goddess it doesn't really want to focus, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I think this this has to do. Yeah, gorgeous card. 
Uh, and then let's take a look at the ultimate slayer as well. Absolutely amazing. Again, not the best card, but I just love the artwork and uh, yeah, I like playing it as well, right? Uh, like as a sideboard card for going second strategies, it's usually in the sideboard if I can allow it. Right, obviously uh, on my channel, I already uh, showcased uh, um, one use case for it, right? In Mikanko, a deck that goes second and has the extra deck space for this. Okay, now final photo shoot. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for being there uh, to be flexed upon. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to showing off these rarities and shiny cards in future deck profiles, right? I mean, you know, some of these cards will be uh, yeah appearing rather frequent in our Telemans uh, deck profiles, right? That we will obviously do very frequently and uh, again and again. I mean, I'm already preparing something, uh, yeah, our Lord and Savior Joshua Schmidt would be pretty proud of, hopefully, uh, with a Paleozoic tier. Well, we'll have to see and uh, it's still work in progress, but regardless. Anyway, thank you all for watching and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, yeah, yourself with me opening uh, the mail and uh, enjoying the shininess of the Rarity Collection too. Um, Konami has so many more good products on the way. People have been uh, complaining and uh, yeah, sure, Rarity Collection 2, is it as good as Rarity Collection 1? Maybe not, uh, maybe not, but uh, it's not that f that much worse. And I mean, the next upcoming products, I mean, uh, what is it, Terminal Revenge or something like that? Absolutely ballin. We'll have to see what uh, the Infinite Forbidden can bring us. Let's not get uh, too f uh, fancy with that one yet, but we'll see. And then, I mean, the tins. I mean, we are so ready. We are so ready for the rarity upgrades for the t uh, for the uh, what is it? The tier limits cards, right? Because there are going to be so many high rarity cards, and they said they are going to reprint uh, the power of the elements cards. And I mean, so far we have seen ultimate slay. In the upcoming set, we're going to see sprite Kurikara, right? Uh, last year in the tins we had the uh, Exo Sisters, right? There's not much left in uh, power of the elements that has not been reprinted yet besides the tier limit cards. So get ready for some, uh, like save your money, right? Tier enjoyer, save your money to, uh, yeah, buy a lot of tins and uh, buy the high rarity tier limits cards for your shiny tier limits decks. On the, on the pro side for budget bros, right? Uh, QCR, uh, Shaven or whatever, you only have to buy one because she's at one right now. But obviously, uh, yeah, uh, buy three just uh, to, uh, Right? Convince Konami to uh, unlimit our goals. But enough of yapping about tier limits, right? We do that uh, some other time. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves and uh, bye bye, my friends.